All right, hi, everybody. It's Bong Con Entry 2. Hit Fairy Tale. I gotta upload both of these at the same time. Kenichi. Now, surprisingly enough, History's Strongest Disciple Kenichi, Chapter 504, Yomi's Strength. This was pretty good. This was pretty good. No, I'm gonna give this a 4 out of 5. <laughs> Why do I say this was pretty good? Huh. You got to see the majority of the fights. Even though it was like, you know, going back and forth, back and forth. In the beginning, we had uh, Miyu's fight with, with Rimi. And then they go into Hermit's fight with Siegfried. Then you go into... Um, what's her face? Oh, I forgot her name. Kensei's uh, daughter. Her fight with that other one, the blonde. And then we go into Kisara's fight with that other little girl. So, and then after that, they go to another fight with Lou and Takeda. So it was it was a lot of kind of a lot of jumbling with the fights, but it was still interesting in a way. Now, beginning part of the chapter, we had Miyu from last week getting drilled. And it was like, oh, you know, it, it was kind of weird though, because Miyu was thinking that she was going to die. I was like, wow. That's, that's, and, um, and then he even says in uh, Rimi, she's saying, take this and die. And, and then Mew's thinking, are you going to be killed? Um, and then we get a scene with, her, with, with Ayato telling her that you have an extremely strong key. We just think it would impose an overwhelming amount of risk. Proceed with caution. And then we see, and there's this, and then after we see that, there's this just this awesome panel where we see Rimi say, this bitch, and you see Miyu in the water, and she just goes like this, and she pushes her away. I'm like, the fuck? That's probably going to be the thumbnail. Uh, anyway, that's the thumbnail. I said, hey, man, yeah, it was so awesome, though. It was like, damn. Anyway. And it's obvious that she's released her dough key. So, for me. And, and she's ready to fight seriously with Rimi. And she pushed Rimi a pretty far back. And... And we go then, and then after that. And, we, and it was kind of funny... What I liked about this chapter really was how they were doing like like they had Miu's fight and I just showed you what that happened there. But then after that, at the same time she's continuously fighting with Rimi, Miu. They're in the sky, and when you go and you're looking who's on the ground, Hermit and Siegfried. And I'm like, ooh. I liked how that was like it was almost at the same time that they went from one fight to the next. And with Siegfried's fight with Hermit, it was more of, of, of um, you know, you know uh, Hermit did a Eurohanda. And, and uh, Siegfried's saying, you proved once again, uh, uh, Siegfried, uh, Hermit. And then he's telling him, why don't you assemble, play the assemble of friendship with us? And then Hermit says... Saying that it's like the point of no return. It's already gone past that. And good things must come to an end. And Siegfried's basically telling him, you know, I disagree. Yes, in this world, there are some things that will never end. It is for that. It's for those things that that, that is the reason that I fight. And we go to another fight. And the same thing. And what I liked about this chapter... 
is um, Kensei's daughter. She's fighting the other one, the blonde. The exact same time they're fighting, you see Miyu and Rimi on a roof on this building's roof fighting as well. I was like, whoa, this is great. Now, the only fights that we didn't see in this chapter were Kenichi's fight and the situation with Freya. Now, Fre I don't think Freya's fighting at all, to be honest with you. It seems like she's just, you know, like Odin, you know, Ryoto sama, he Ryoto, he's not attempted to fight her. Just bind her. It was, was kind of weird. So, so you have them, they're fighting. And then, you know, she's saying she's doing a drop kick. And, was, and then they're nude. Like, they have no underwear on, uh, swimsuits on at all. And I'm like, worse than hero. That's how bad it is with, with Kenichi. It, the fan service is out of proportion. And she says, uh, same goes for you, you know. Uh, you me back my swimsuit, you pervert. And everything. And and while they're fighting, Yukata shows up. And he's like all burning and everything and stuff. And he shows up. And he sees them. And aw. Oh. So. And... From there, she does a, uh, a um, you know, wrestling move. And then go from that, we see Ikeda's leaving. And then, then we go to another fight with Kisara and that girl, little girl. And again, we see Miyu and Rimi fighting on the roof of this building. And while that's happening, we have Kisara's fight. I like that. I, I like how in this chapter, the author, he placed certain things at certain positions. And it was pretty damn good. So she's fighting the little girl. I forgot her name, unfortunately. Um, yeah, Kushinada, that's her name. So Kushinada, um, and, and Yukita's there trying to, to grab her or tell her it's dangerous. And K Kushinata grabs him and throws him on the ground. He'll throw. And he falls. Obviously, blood's coming out of his mouth and stuff. And then Kushinata's saying, it was fun, but now I have to kill you. And we still have... We have, um, we then go from that fight again, and we still see Miyu and Rimi fighting in the air. From that fight, with Kisar to Takeda, and Lou. And while she's fighting in the air, that seemed to be, was funny, because throughout the chapter, that's the theme. Miyu fighting Rimi, shown in the background. Which I thought was pretty boss. I thought that was interesting how they did it that way. And then we go to Lou's fight with, with Takeda. Now, this is going to probably be for next week. Um, um, we have Lou grabbing Takeda from the behind. And Takeda is able to do a snap out of it, an all range punch. Um. And it seems like Lou's getting the better of this, I think. And that's where it ends, where the, we just see, um, it says, and it says on the side, battles between the series of one-on-one -on -one battles between the Alliance and a fired-up Yomi. Next chapter, things heat up between Takeda and Lou. And that's pretty much what happened. Now, overall, I thought, like I said, I'm giving this a 4 out of 5 because of the beginning and because of how they sequencingly put each fight together. How they bait Rimi and Mew, Mew, Mew. And plus Mew with the whole Do Key thing. That was just, that was awesome. That was awesome. But the only fight we didn't see specifically was Kenichi's fight. Now, I can only imagine where that's going. 
But overall, this was a very good chapter. Four out of five. To Miyu's fighting, and like I said, I, I still say the way they, they had Miyu and Rimi fight all around the the park, the amusement park, and you, at that part when we were fighting all around the amusement park, you saw the other fights take place. Hermit's Hermit and Siegfried's fight, um, Kisara's fight. You know, you saw all everyone else's fight. I thought that was done well. Okay, because that way you see all the other fights happening. It wasn't and it wasn't too chaotic in my opinion. I thought it was done very well. Overall, good chapter of Kenichi. Like I said, good chapter of Fairy Tale. I will upload these two. And that's the story. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing any other reviews tonight. Which is a bad thing. <laughs> then tomorrow I gotta do so much. Ah dang! I keep uh reading Madaka Box, I have to stop. <laughs> but I think um I'm gonna upload this. And fairy tale, read some of the doc box some more, and I think that's gonna be it for me tonight. But overall, that's the story. Some Bonkai 922, me, you, I'm like a boss. Don't mind the fan service. Everyone likes fan service. <laughs> I will see you guys later.